All right, so this is just going to be um, a few little segments of um, additional news that CG offered the community. Uh, for starters, we're going we're gonna to start with the worst, which is that in addition to all those other characters that they debuffed already in their road ahead, yeah, they decided to add some more. In addition to the above mentioned changes, Galactic Legend Supreme Leader Kylo Ren will have the following changes to his AI. Adding the 501st clone count condition that was created in an earlier AI change to interact properly when gas is the enemy leader. Updated AI to no longer withhold special 2 ability and ultimate ability when 5 is present unless General Skywalker is the enemy leader. Honestly, I have no idea what any of that means. I've never used gas and my Supreme Leader Kylo is still working on getting sexy. So, I don't really know what that means, but... It's something, it sounds like it's a buff for Kylo and a debuff for 501st Team slash Gas, so that's cool. It's sarcasm, I, I didn't legitimately mean that, that that's cool. Then if that wasn't enough, also we will include the following in the changes to Raid Boss performance abilities. 3PO's Confusion, Treya's Isolate, Greedo's Threaten, and Django's Conflagration. Yo, know, cause you didn't already kill half the characters to begin with, so just add to the list. And and like, I don't know, it just seems annoying because gas is super hard to get. Like Trey is kind of hard to get too. You gotta be in a guild that can participate in the Sith Triumvirate heroic mode and all this, and just make them weak though. Don't let anything just be. So that's it for here. Let's get on to the next portion of the news. The next part is ship combat and galactic challenges. Apparently, they're going to be adding ships to galactic challenges now. Hey, Hollow Table Heroes. Ships are heading to galactic challenges. <laughs> they put an exclamation point like that. It's supposed to be exciting. Uh, galactic challenges sucks. So I would imagine this is going to be some trash, too. The Galactic Challenge beginning August 16th will feature ship combat. We hope this iteration of GC will bring a new challenge and give you the opportunity to use parts of your roster to defeat the opposition update to provide more context tiers 1 to 3 will be character units tiers 4 to 10 will be ships that just seems annoying and stupid first off why is it not split down the middle why isn't it 1 through 5 as characters and then 6 through 10 as ships why is it 1 2 3 1 through 3 sound like it's a 2 is characters and then 4 to 10 as ships so that just makes like a bunch of clunky requirements now you gotta do is tiers 1 through 3 and what does that mean? Like, is tier 3 going to be the equivalency of current tier 10? So it's going to be, like, easy, medium, hard? Instead of working its way up like it currently does? And then ships to tiers 4 through 10? Is that going to be tier 4 is, like, tier 1? And you know what I mean? 2, though, that just means that... Now, there's two batches. You got to get through doing the character portion. And then you got to go back and do the ship portion. And 3... I can just imagine how much nonsense this is gonna this is gonna be. I bet you I'm gonna get even less um what is it, stars? Yeah, less stars than I was getting before. Just because the ships are gonna F everything up. So yeah. I'm seeing this as a extreme negative, not positive at all that they're adding ships. If they made it slightly then maybe ships are its own section of uh, Galactic Challenge. Like, there's a character one and a ship one. Maybe it would be decent, but since they're adding it into the one, I don't see it as being good. Anyhow, so that's news update number two. And number three is right here. Recent changes to packs purchased via Google Play points. So, this doesn't affect me. This is more or less for, like, people that actually pay to play. Like, Arnold T101 and possibly Cubs Van Han and all that. But... Oh, and also you have to be an Android user. I'm a Apple user, so this really doesn't affect me no matter what. But regardless, I guess um, before when you purchase packs for, through this game, you've got like bonus points through Google Play. And then basically what would happen is once you accrued enough points, you could essentially get another pack for free. I think Arnold did this one time. He was doing his whale or fail segment. And he was going through, bought tons of packs, then he got enough Google Play points and got a free pack. So anyways, here's what they're doing now. Contents of both the packs purchased via Google Play points have undergone some changes. Energy previously available in the packs was replaced with gear, credits, and shipbuilding materials. The impetus for the change 
was to reduce the disadvantage to players who were unable to purchase the packs due to regional or platform differences. Okay. So it sounds like there was just energy in the packs before they could buy, and now you, there's no longer energy. They put gear, credits, and shipbuilding materials. This wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I thought they got rid of... See, Arnold made a video. He was more on time than I am. This is August 7th. Today's August 9th. His video was, like, right on August 7th. Same time. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I thought he was saying that you weren't getting those extra points for Google Play. It's not saying that here, though. It's just saying that they got rid of energy. He did also mention that they're getting rid of the energy from the packs. But I thought they're getting rid of those Google Play bonus points. I don't know. Maybe they're not. Maybe he had, like, leaked info, but when the final, which is this, came out, they decided that they weren't going to get rid of the points just because... I mean, if you look at it from their standpoint, that probably would be stupid to do anyways. Because if you leave those points, it's going to cause people that do spend money to want to spend more that way then they can get to that free point and then dump it yeah you're giving away a free pack or whatever but that person spent how much money to be able to get that versus say me i don't pay anything so it makes no difference but if you already are paying and now you take this bonus away those people might pay less because they're like well what's the point before i used to spend x amount and i got a free pack now I'm, i get nothing so, it would be in their best interest to not change that, probably. Anyhow, that's it. Like I said, it was just three small segments, just a little bit of news I wanted to cover. And um, so that's all for now. Until the next one, you already know, I said see ya.